Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel if you're new here I am Sam and I thought I'd show you what I got for my birthday I don't think I did one of these last year I can't remember I really can't remember anyway um I <laughs> I am dressed under here but I've put <laughs> my dressing gown on as always if you're new here I live in my dressing gown if I'm at home um anyway I just thought I'd quickly give like a little bit of an update on James, um, which is my brother. If you didn't watch my last video, um, he's very poorly in ICU. He's been in hospital now for two weeks because today's th yeah today's Thursday, so two weeks today. Um, he tomorrow will mark two weeks of being ventilated. Um. Today they moved his ventilation over to be in, instead of a tube in his mouth and ventilated that way, he had a tube put in through his um, throat, so a, trache, a, tra a tracheostomy if, if for the full word, and then the ventilation is attached here, which means that James could be a little bit more awake. Um, although he can't speak, he cannot just when he's got the energy. Um, and shake his head at us if it's a definite no um and it's just nice to have <laughs> two weeks every day i've been in some days for many many hours when he's um and <laughs> it's just nice for him to be awake um He's still very, very poorly, even though, like I say, the communication is amazing. Um, he, however small, um, but his body is very, very poorly still. Um, maybe when he's able to, maybe I'll do a video on it because it's really, really rare. Um, and I had no idea and I always but that will come when Jamie can give consent in that sense. Although I suppose I could talk about it generally. But anyway, moving aside, um, that I thought I'd show you what I got for my birthday. So I'm going to start with my mum. I'm just looking. At, I'm sure I've got things in my house. I've got other people's missing off my side. Um, me and my mum before all this went into town, and I fell in love with this handbag. And mum was like, "Well, I'll get it for your birthday. At least it's something I know you want." And like, I haven't got any bags in this. Like, it's definitely like a dusky pink, but a darker colour in that. I don't know. It's definitely a dusky pink. It's by June. Um, it was in TK Maxx. Now, Mum's taken the label off, but I did see the price. In, but it had a red, do you know the red stickers where it's marked down further? And it was only £23. But I just fell in love with it. There was actually quite a few I fell in love with. Um, but I like this one most because this would go with everything. Any colour coat I wear or the coats I've got anyway. So, this one. And then, bless my Mum. Oh, they're not in here. The plugs in here. Um, my GHDs dies of death. The wire broke. If you'll have seen me get ready, me's and things like that. Um, I had electrical tape around the end. Um, and it's finally died in that twizzly part around the end. So apparently these were on Amazon's like um, what's it called? Their early offer type things. I think they've got some day coming up prime day is it maybe i'm not sure but they've got early offers on this was on there so these are the original ones but they're reworked um so there's nothing in the box because they're here i put them in this morning to do my fringe because i wore my hair curly because it was raining <gasps> i've got makeup on them already um it's got a little light up button which is brighter than any others because i'm a nightmare and the end bit is changed it's got more swivel if of them what I remember. So my mum can have her GHDs back, but these will be used and used and used and used for years to come because they always last. So mum got me those. The boys, um these were from the boys. <laughs> my favourite things. Um 
So I got a, a, some Lush vouchers off the boys and these will go away for Boxing Day sales because they've essentially, they're worth double what is on there because everything's 50% off in the Christmas sale. Um, then Luke and his girlfriend, bless him, went a bit crazy. Um, like I say, it's... Uh, so... She got they got quite a few bits this dressing gown being one of them um and it's lovely it's like a th oh look oh i've got it dirty already i have worn it every day today is my birthday was on sunday and today's thursday but i must have caught it on the side so um it's like a 3d texture can you see that um and i love twiddling with it like because i can feel the texture on it it is, bless her, I made, my birthday was on the Sunday, I've lost track of days, but when very, James very, very first went, um, was intubated, we all camped at Mum's for the night, and I had one of my very, very old dressing gowns on, the one I love in Wintermore, because it's very, very long, um, and she found me a really long one, um, like, I'm five foot four, and... Another present they got me are these slippers. And literally, I can't bother to stand up and show you in the mirror. My room was a bit of a mess. There's literally about that much gap between my dressing gown and slipper. It is incredible. And I've lived in both of them every day since Sunday. They are incredible. Um, she also got me a pair of pyjamas, but they're in the washing at my mum's. My washing machine is broken. I'm not having the best look, aside from James, myself. My... Um, Hair dry blew up in my face on my birthday. Very luckily I didn't get hurt because I was literally holding it, but it blew out the back. Uh, anyway. So I've not had much. So anyway, they're in the wash. Where was I going with that? They're in the wash at my mum's, but they are um, about being the best mum and Wonder Woman ones. And they're pink and they match my pink dressing gown and pink slippers. Incredible. I'm going like this because I'm wanting to get the next piece from over here. They've essentially kitted me out for winter. I got a new scarf, which goes perfectly with my brown teddy coat that I got last year from Shein. And I love wearing it um, because it's warm, but I don't get sweaty in it. Um, with struggling with my temperature, I often get sweaty and I don't with that one. So it ties in, but with the teddy colour, because it's literally that colour, but it ties in with my handbag too, with the pinky tones and, and stuff. So that is really, really cool. And it's dead long. Like, I'm going to wear it tomorrow. We're going to Blackpool, me and Delphi, to watch the final of the fireworks. So it's like really long. And I will keep super warm in that. Plus, I might take this with me tomorrow because it gets really cold at the fireworks. Look, how cute is this? I'm done. How cute! So cute. Absolutely love it. And having an Ellison head, <laughs> we had, that's what we call it because of all the Ellisons. Um, I've all got big heads that hats are really hard to get hold of. Baseball caps, caps like that. When the kids were younger, they're in silly sizes, like age wise, above theirs. But yeah, this one fits incredible and there's like loads of extra room in there, which is amazing. And then, bless them, they got me, I opened these, a bath bomb set. How pretty are these? But they are all, I didn't even show you how pretty they were, did I? So we've got Sleepy. Detox, relaxation, muscle relief, love and stress relief. I need all of these. Ah, the smell. Oh, incredible. These are by Essential. Essential. Just found the card. I'll show you the front. Do -do -do -do. Instead of e yeah, these, and then I'm going to tag this company down below because these are actually 
um my their friends but look especially my brother's um friends personal business um and this kit they're called bimble um and she it's all like homemade and stuff but uh, bimble and it's got a little bee on it so cute this is the way it came packaged and this gift set is called the smoking hot gift set it says a selection of our smoking joints range for bath and body <laughs> care products to warm cracking jo creaking joints and soothe aching muscles so in here there is um a warming depth charge bath treat a warming massage oil a warming shea butter balm and a warming bath butter melt um this is glass because of it's all um ethic oh, what's the word I know she's conscious and stuff of things. So like they all come in like paper or as least packaging as you can or in like tins. So this is the little butter balm, but I love these. It smells like all the products I searched for in Lush that have got cinnamon and clove and oh, this one. So this is a balm. This can go anywhere except for eyes or sensitive areas. This glass jar was the massage oil. But then like, and this is like the bath one, I think. So this is the bath butter. So like a bath solid bath oil. I can't wait to use it. it smell, I can smell it every time I walk into my room. I also got some of my favorite chocolates, which are all gone but i kept the box because i wanted to show you and um, i'll show you what scott's got me last because i'll have to go and get that um my dad just came and dropped some gifts off because my dad went on holiday and he came back and had covid so he has been in isolation in his house and we wanted to give it a couple of days after a negative test um and he had Alfie for me tonight after school. So he came and dropped my gifts off too. Um, so I got my favourite chocolates, which is the Nestle Dairy Box. These are elite. And you cannot tell me they're not because these are the best chocolates. Um, I also got some more bath bits. Can you tell everybody knows I love my bath? Sorry, these are in a bag. These are the Dirty Works. Yeah, Dirty Works. Um, the Coco Bongo range, so it is, are they just coconut? I'm trying to see if they've both got the same scents. I know they've both got coconut in it. So we've got a coconut bath bomb and a coconut and mango extract, um, coconut bath soak. So it's like a moisturising one. Um, I haven't smelt these. Oh, I love coconut. As you can tell with my favorite, some of my other favorite chocolates that was gone. I had to go back in for a second sniff because that smells lovely. And then, I got this, how cute is this? It's going to sit up on these, oh, you can't see them, those shelves. There's loads of little bunny bits up there. Um, but how cute is this? And I'm wondering actually if it's meant to go on your tree, but I don't know if I'll put it on my tree. Although it will fit with the colour theme. I'm just scared of it getting damaged and I have snow spray on there. But if you are new to my channel, I absolutely love bunnies. Um, and it is so cute. Shiny glittery shoes, a little ballerina, but it is so cute. And then I'd asked my dad, because I was running low on one of my favourite perfumes, to, if he hadn't got me anything would he get me the perfume as a birth my birthday gift just i didn't expect any of these in that sense and he looked both in the uk and in greece and they didn't have any of it so i'm now really worried they stopped being made um so i really should go on the hunt for it because of it's something i've worn since i very first started wearing perfume so lacoste such a pink um so so instead <laughs> My dad never, ever, ever buys me cigarettes when he goes abroad. Um, but today I got some cigarettes. Yes, I need to stop. But 
right now i keep trying and trying and off and on but right now it's just it's got no chance absolutely no chance so i do not want to see any comments about it in the description so scott sent me he sent me two parcels bless him when he was here last um he sent me a parcel but he wanted to be able to give it to me and tell me i had to wait so it arrived he'd made it so it was arrived before he was here last um which was the middle of august no middle of september sorry august um but it came in the packaging and i'll show you why Hold on. so i just mentioned that i collect bunnies um but i love bunny teddies but i love the jelly cat range i've got a few more um this was the very first bunny that started my whole thing up with bunnies when alfie was born um he isn't grubby he's like um, a brownie kind of color um it just looks grubby <laughs> um so he got me his and her jelly cat bunnies from the jelly cat actual website and it came in um what they called mailer bags with jelly cat written all over it and he said he didn't want me to have to wait knowing what was in there um or suspecting what was in there what darling the what Dive. what no you've had enough you've had a big milkshake okay I'm just filming. Well, I'm showing what I got for my birthday. So, yeah, it came with the Jelly Cat logos and everything on the outside. So, it didn't want to make me wait because I kind of guessed what was in there. Oh, no, I thought there was only one. But there was two, his and hers. I love lilac at the moment. <laughs> everything I buy that's new clothing is lilac. Um... So yeah, his and hers bunnies. Um, and then, so it got to open that parcel early. And then another parcel arrived on the Friday. Um, and I was actually at the hospital um, by the time they delivered it. So it was put behind a wheelie bin and it was raining. It was a cardboard box. I got home and the box was wet through. And I said to him, the box is really wet. Um, I don't know if I can wait to open it um so I hope I had to open it and um, he agreed I could open it um but yeah so I got a lovely little bunny hobby um birthday with lots of personal bits inside and then I got a big oh a big helium balloon that has chocolate coins on the bottom as the weight um because he wanted something to arrive actually at my birthday um, so that was really, really sweet. And I've got loads of cards and this, it was really hard celebrating my birthday, but Luke's girlfriend went above and beyond and actually threw me a party, like a tea time kind of thing. I'd gone up to the, have I gone up to the hospital? Yes, I'd gone up to hospital. They collected the kids. They'd put banners up, party food, a cake. Um, oh, I got flat, a massive bouquet of flowers. If you've seen the last video, you'll have seen those in the background. Um, but my mum had bought this card, um, and it's a what is a sister card, and it's. But well, I'm not read the words in the verses, but it says to my amazing, wonderful sister. I'm gonna cry again. <laughs> Mum might be writing this for me as I'm asleep, but I hear your voice every day. And I love you to the moon and back. And I was just like... <laughs> Mum said, don't open it while you're sat here. Open it on your own. And now I, I knew why as soon as I'd opened it. I was just like, a blood rumour. And now I feel like this video is too long. But oh well, it is what it is. Um, I can't get my words to focus fast enough at the moment um and i've gone back in like having to make sure my brain knows what he wants to say first before saying it because otherwise i'm really struggling um which is highly frustrating but i got absolutely spoiled spoiled rotten um and i will be having we'll be having another family things when jamie is able to as 
well, well, it's my mum's birthday at the end of next month, but we don't think he'll be out by then. Um, we'll be lucky if he's out by Christmas. Um, so, but yes, anyway, thank you for watching. I shall see you all really soon in my next video. Goodbye.